YouTube, this is my setup video for how to set up your dazzle. Got mine here. I already stick in like the splitters, but you can you can get you get it like that. It has all inputs. This is my PS3 cable. You have uh, you need it when it's stuck in the PS3. That's my internet cable over there. You need a double-sided RCA cable, male to male. So I stuck mine already in there. I don't use the white because also it will get no valid input signal and if I put that one in there it will say a uh, huge buzzing so it records horribly. Th uh, you don't get uh, this cable, you do get this cable with the PS3 or your Xbox, same for Xbox, just cables for that are a little bit other color and get a huge adapter. You need, an R you need to buy the double sided RCA cable and three splitters. I bought three, but I only actually need two because else it, uh, it says no valid input. First, install the software you get with the Dazzle. And you need your obviously your laptop uh, close by. Mine's uh, hooked up. That's my internet cable. So the first thing you do is you take the Dazzle and stick splitters in it, like one in the yellow, one in red, and one in like white. But I don't use white because it doesn't work else. And there is an input for an uh, S video cable, but I personally don't have an S video cable or entrance on my TV, so I don't use it. Don't have one. Then, whoa, sorry guys. Then you take the PS3 cables, and then. Yeah, uh, I put mine from PS3, the white one, corresponding to color, so mine is white there. You just stick it in the input. God. Yeah, wait a second. Uh, I'll try this for a second. There it goes. Stick it just in co color corresponding. It doesn't matter if you stick the cable up or down. I personally like to do it down. So it's easier to attach the second cable. Just stick them in also cor co corresponding to color, so yellow to yellow, red to red, and white to white. Just goes in there. Then just put this splitter aside. Take the empty end, which is not in your TV. Stick it. Uh, stick it in the other, also color corresponding uh, inputs on your splitters. So yellow to yellow, red to red, and I leave my white open because I don't have, I use the splitters. Just make sure these ends are completely down to the point, just until you hear a click like that, like that. Good. You see, this completely just the gap for your pink can just fit in it, so you know it's good. Then it should look like this. Two red, two yellow. You got an S video cable is empty. You can use it separately. You cannot use the AV cables and the S video at the same time. So it's either this or these three. You can look in the Pinnacle Studio, and then it should just have either a splitter or without a split white. Then the other end of the RCA cable, it's in the PS3 or a TV input. I have mine uh, white not working. Don't use it. And your PS3 cable is just in PS3. Mine's at the back. Controller. First, install the software. It's always uh, important. So just stick the USB into your PC. I first fire up my PS3. And just I'll wait until the PS3 is started up. And just fire up my PC. One. Hey, there it goes. I can use this one. You can use mouse, same time, no problem. Uh, let's see. PS3. There it is. Watch out for darkened screens. Don't mind. Uh, sorry for the shifting, whatever. Uh, the screen will be darker than if you put the original PS3 cables in them, so just turn up um, your brightness if you screw like your TV. So just like this is uh, 
it's in Dutch, so you just put your brightness a little bit up. But I keep mine like that, so just like that. And then... Here's, yeah, that's uh, another account. Don't matter, I just use Pinnacle because here it is. It should be, say, this. 